Nintendo Switch Lite. Let me show you what's going on. Rule number one, we always inspect the port. Looks like it's been through a little bit of strain, but otherwise appears to be pretty solid. I believe it is safe to test power. This video is brought to you by PCB Way. We'll talk about their awesome services in a little bit. First test will be on our PSU. We're gonna do a five volt test. I'm looking at PSU channel one. We're drawing zero amps. Check the other side. And zero amps again. Let's check and see if we're drawing 15 volts. Nothing on this side. And nothing on this side. So we are drawing zero amps at 5 volts and we're not activating the OEM charger at all. That could be anything from the port to the M92T36 or anything in between. We need to crack it open, take a look, and see if we can figure out what's going on. We have the board out of the housing and we're ready to begin our testing. We're going to begin our testing on side A, zeroed in right here on the M92T36. One probe on the port shielding, which is ground. And now we're going to test the capacitor surrounding the chip. And the lines we're interested in are the ones going to the chip. Okay, we do appear to have one shorted capacitor. And another shorted capacitor. So these two are shorted. It indicates we have a problem with the M92T36. And another shorted capacitor. All these lines right here are shorted to ground. In the case of this capacitor, it has two lines going to the chip. And in that case, only one side should have a pathway to ground. So we definitely have a problem around the M92T36. Let's continue our testing. Now we're going to move over slightly and test the BQ24193 area. Same side of the board. Same rules apply. One probe on ground. And everything appears to be okay around the BQ24193. We'll move up the board and test the MOSFETs and fuse, which are located right down here. Check our invincible fuse. Still being invincible. Always nice when it burns up a chip instead of a fuse. Now we're going to flip over the board to side B and check the test pads located in this area. Check our test pads. This is the only ground pad here. And our test pads appear to be checking out, but we know we have a bad M92 T36 anyway. So my test was a little bit inaccurate due to a cable malfunction. One of my ends fell off my cable here. So I've just tied it directly into the PSU now. And we're drawing a 0.10 steady at 5 volts. It still wasn't activating the OEM charger, but this is more indicative that there is like a short on the board, which we have found. So we've zeroed in on the M92T36 as our possible problem. We need to remove the chip and test and make sure that those shorts are relieved. And if they are, we'll put a new chip on and hopefully that will solve our issues. In order to remove my chip, I must set up my equipment. And while I'm setting up my equipment, let me throw my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Let's add some flux. Flux makes solder flow better, but it also is a cleaning detergent. And we just want to wait until we see all the pads wet. Don't even touch the chip until they do wet. Best way not to cause damage. Let's test to make sure that our shorts have been relieved. PCB Way offers many great services, like PCB, with many options like Standard, Advanced, FPC and Rigid, and much more. Or CNC and 3D printing, PCB Assembly, and they even have their own store with a whole lot of great deals. Click on my link in the description and check out PCB Way today. And all of our shorts are gone. Excellent. Wet the solder again. We're looking for that center pad to wet. And then we'll place the chip. Make sure that it has grabbed on before you let go. Oops, and we are surfing. That's not ideal. Center up. Remove your heat. Let it tack down. Put some slight pressure down and re-wet. Oh, there's too much pressure. Yeah, it's being a real pain today. Clean up. Rapid cool. Let's test again and make sure we did not reacquire our shorts. 
and we did not. Excellent. Now I'm going to clean the board off and we'll come back for power tests. I hope you're getting value out of this video. Just a reminder, if you find you're not ready to tackle this, I do offer these services, both locally and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you 10% off on your repair. Inspect. Everything looks pretty good here. Good, good, and good. Let's do our power tests. We'll start with the five volts on the PSU. Watching PSU channel one. And we're getting some recognition, but nothing indicative of behavior that we want to see. That's not the definitive test. Let's switch over to PSU channel two and do a more definitive test. We have hooked up our iPhone battery squid which we have retrofitted with Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite batteries. And we're going to activate, or attempt to activate with our OEM. Just real quick, plug it in and unplug it. And what we want to see here is just a steady climb in amperage and no hanging. And that looks very much like it's booting to me. Excellent. Now looking at our USB meter. What I like to see here is some communication with the OEM charger. For getting communication, we should draw 15 volts problem with this meter though is it only works in one direction usually and there we go we're drawing 14.9 15 volts excellent we now have re-established communication very good next step is to put it back in the housing let it charge on its battery and go from there we're back up and running on its battery we're at about 21 percent we're charging 15 volts 0.72 amps everything's looking good everything's working that should be working if you got value out of this video I think you'll get value out of this one, and I'll see you there. Until then, peace, love, and start awake.